Good morning and welcome to this historic second Australian Apotherapy Association Conference for 2022. We're delighted that you're here to join us. As you know, uh, the association only started in um, last year, 2021. We had our very successful first conference in November last year. And thanks to the support of many people around the world, we're back again for our second conference. And we're continuing to progress discussion about natural medicine. And our theme this time is natural medicine for anti-aging. Uh, in today's session, you'll hear from a number of experts who work in this space and have done research on this subject. And of course, anti-aging can be anything from reducing your wrinkles to uh, improving your diet, to dealing with arthritis and dealing with a serious illness such as cancer. And it's incredibly gratifying that there's been so much research on apotherapy in the treatment of cancer, along with other natural medicines such as cannabis. So today we'll have uh, a couple of experts speaking about the benefits of cannabis and also the benefits of combining cannabis using bee, bee products in the treatment of a serious illness such as cancer. So that'll be a very, very interesting roundtable discussion later this afternoon. Uh, in the meantime, we, we're very fortunate to have contributions from researchers from the Philippines, from Australia, from um, Serbia, and uh, many other countries where apotherapy is well accepted. Even though apotherapy is very new to Australia, Australians have been punching above their weight in terms of apotherapy. As you know, in 2020, researchers from the University of Western Australia made world news on their uh, findings that bee venom dissolves breast cancer tumour in rats. And of course, we're looking forward to human trials and the use of that, um, of that molecule or those molecules in pharmacology for more effective cancer treatment. Um, we also have a very interesting case study um, of a man in Darwin who's been self-treating his own lung cancer using bee products, cannabis, and alongside chemotherapy. That'll be most interesting um, to watch. Also, uh, scientists from the University of Sunshine Coast have done a lot of research on all of the propolis that occurs around Australia geographically, both from the European honeybee and the stingless Australian native bee varieties to determine the efficacy of the propolis as medicine. And that'll be an interesting presentation that we'll see during this conference. Uh, we're fortunate to be joined by the world expert and secretary of the Federation of the International Federation of Apotherapy Dr. Stefan Stangachu of Romania. And first up, Dr. Stefan will be talking to us about the longevity of beekeepers. Yes, it's a thing that working with bees will extend your life. And right now I'd like to introduce Dr. Stefan Stangachu. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> 